in, on, and at. Prepositions of place. Let's talk about them in today's video lesson. Hello! I am Teacher Aubrey and welcome back to my channel. Kung bago ka sa channel ko, I offer here video lessons for you to improve your English speaking, writing, and communication skills. Kaya naman kung interesado ka sa mga ganyang uri ng videos, iniimbitahan kita na maging bahagi ng ating YouTube online community of learners. Simple lang ang gagawin, you just have to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga darating pa nating videos. Iniimbitahan ko rin kayo na maging bahagi ng aking second YouTube channel in which I make vlogs and videos together with my family, you may click the link above. Subscribe to our channel, Aubrey and Family Lifestyle TV. Preposition of place. Preposition of place is a preposition in which it tells the location of something or someone in a sentence. May iba rin uri ng preposition na talakay ko na sa dati kong video, ang preposition of time. Kung hindi nyo pinapapanood, ay maaari ninyo i-click ang link sa itaas para mapanood ninyo. Pero sa video na ito, magpo-focus tayo dito sa preposition of place. Mayroon tayong tatlong tatalakayin, ang in, on, and at. Tingnan natin itong inverted pyramid dito. Gumamit ako nitong illustration na to para ma-visualize sa mga isipan ninyo na maaari nating aralin itong tatlong preposition na to batay sa lawak ng nasasakop niya. Okay? So we have here an inverted pyramid. Sa taas, mayroon tayong in. Sa gitna, medyo lumiit na, we have on. At yung pinakamaliit na bahagi ng ating inverted pyramid ay at. Mag-umpisa muna tayo sa in. Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang preposition na in, nasasakop niya ang pinakamalawak na bahagi ng ating inverted pyramid. Bakit? Dahil po, ang preposition of place na in ay para sa large places. Ano nga ba yung mga large places na yun? O ito ang may pinakamalawak na sakop na lugar. Maaaring familiar na kayo talaga sa preposition na ito dahil kapag sinabi natin in, di ba? Alam natin inside, sa loob. Tama po. Alamin natin ano ang mga sakop ng preposition in. Ang preposition in ay ginagamit para sa mga city. We have Makati City. In Makati City. I work in Makati City. Ano pa? Ginagamit din ang preposition in para sa mga state. Ano yung mga state? There are different states in the America such as Florida, California, Texas, ginagamit siya para sa mga states. In Florida, in California, ginagamit din naman ang in for countries o mga bansa. Pansinin niyo ha, malalaki yung tinatalakay nating areas. Okay? Countries like Philippines. In Philippines, there are a lot of islands in the Philippines. Okay? There is cherry blossom in Japan. There is the Great Wall of China in China, of course. Ginagamit din natin ang in for continents. Okay, that's a large area. Continents such as Asia, in Asia, in Europe, in North America, in Australia. Next, ginagamit din natin ang in for areas such as the world. Area, okay? The world. And also, dito tayo pinaka-familiar. Ginagamit ang in para sa mga enclosed spaces or containers. Yung mayroong malinaw na loob at labas. Okay? What is the example? The car. Kapag nasa loob ka ng kotse, you are in the car. Okay? Kapag binuksan mo yung refrigerator at may kukunin ka doon na prutas, example is apple, nasa loob ng ref, sasabihin mong the apple is in the refrigerator, basta may malinaw na loob at labas at enclosed spaces. Again, ginagamit natin ang preposition of place na in for the city, for state, for country, for continent, for area, and enclosed spaces. For as long as mayroong enclosed spaces. Even this, the city, the state, country, continent, areas, although walang physical na enclosure ng espasyo, Pero, masasabi natin ang Pilipinas ay may hangganan. ba? May hangganan ng Pilipinas. Na kung saan, sa hangganan na yun, doon lang naka-enclose mismo yung bansang Pilipinas. Okay? Gaya sa city, for me, Kawayan, 
may specific na hangganan or boundary na nasasakop lang yung may kawayan. So, that's still part of enclosed spaces. Okay? Another thing is, when you are inside the room, may malinaw na naka-enclose sa'yo na mga dingding. Alright? So, again, ginagamit ang preposition in for the largest spaces. Okay? Let us now move on to the second preposition of place, which is on. As you could notice, kung mapapansin ninyo, yung on yung nasa gitna, medyo hindi na siya ganun kalawak, yung sakop niyong space sa ating inverted pyramid. In is the largest, pinakamalawak, okay? Kasunod yung on, medyo mas naging specific siya. Tingnan natin. Kung kanina ang in ay for large areas or places, ang on naman ay for medium size of places. Okay? Tingnan natin saan ginagamit ang on. Ginagamit siya for streets, such as Paraiso Street. Ano yung mga pangalan ng streets sa lugar ninyo? I-share nyo sa ating comment section sa iba ba? For the highway. Okay? Ano yung sikat na sikat na highway? We have Mac Arthur Highway. Ano yung mga highway sa lugar ninyo? Okay? On Paraiso Street. On Mac Arthur Highway. Ginagamit din siya for the floor sa mga buildings. Such as on the 10th floor, on the 6th floor, on the 1st floor. And of course, karaniwan talagang ginagamit ang on for surfaces. For example, la mesa, ito. Kamay ko. Imagine it's a table. At nakapatong yung marker. So, I may say, on the table. The marker is on the table. So, there is a surface. Okay? So, just like this dress, it has a surface. So, sasabihin natin, for example, na may nakapatong dito, the microphone or the lapel is on the dress. Nakapatong sa surface. Okay? And, basically, Ginagamit natin ang on horizontally, just like the street, horizontal, highway, horizontal, floors, horizontal, and of course, surfaces, karaniwan, horizontal. Ginagamit din ang on for the means of transportation such as bus, jeepney, on the bus, on the jeepney, okay? At ginagamit din itong on for communications or means of communication such as the radio, on the radio, on Facebook, on Messenger, on Telegram, on the Internet. Again, dito po natin ginagamit ang preposition on. Kung marami ka nang natutunan sa video na ito, huwag mong kalimutang mag-like at mag-share at mag-subscribe ka na rin at i-ring ang notification bell para lagi kang updated. Now, let us move on to the last and third preposition of place in which it is the most specific among the three. Ito yung pinakatiyak yung lokasyon sa kanilang tatlo. Kaya naman kung mapapansin ninyo sa ating inverted pyramid, ito yung may pinakamaliit na espasyong nasasakop sa inverted pyramid. Because the preposition of place at is the most specific. Ito yung pinakatiyak na kinaroroon ng lokasyon. Now, as stated, it is the most specific, the preposition of place at. Alamin natin, saang kategorya nagagamit itong preposition of place na to? Ginagamit siya sa mga tiyak na pangalan ng lugar. Let's say, for example, the fast food's name, Jollibee. At Jollibee. At McDonald's. At Max's Restaurant. At Wendy's. Okay? Ginagamit din siya sa mga address address, specific address. Kanina, ginamit natin yung street, Paraiso Street, for on. Kasi medyo malawak pa siya. Hindi pa siya ganun ka-specific. Paraiso Street, malawak yun, di ba? Pero, pag naging tiyak ka na kung anong number ng bahay na naroon sa Paraiso Street, in which 70 Paraiso Street, you are becoming specific. That's why it is at 70 para iso street. And lastly, ginagamit natin siya for a specific location o kung saan kang eksakto naroon. The example we have here is the station. At the station. What are the different stations of LRT? We have Monumento at Monumento Station at Hilpuyat Station. Again, dito po ginagamit ang ating preposition of place na at. 
Now this time, let us have this short quiz to check how well you understand our short discussion about the preposition of place. Muli, isa-isip ninyo, lagi ninyong i-visualize, sa isipan ninyo itong ating inverted pyramid. Yes, the inverted pyramid in which yung may pinakamalawak na sakop na lugar is in. For medium, on, at yung pinaka-specific na mga lugar ay at. Tandaan din ang in for enclosed spaces, on, mostly, and most of the time, for horizontal and on surfaces. And at, always remember, most specific. Okay? Sagutan natin. Maaari ninyong i-pause saglit itong video para mabasa ninyo lahat. And then, ilagay ninyo ang inyong mga sagot sa ating comment section sa ibaba. ba. Huwag kayong mahihiya. Okay? Let's begin. Number one, Las Piñas City. Sino ang mga taga Las Piñas? May mga nanonood ba na taga Las Piñas? Anong dapat na gamitin? Las Piñas City. City. So, dahil yan ay city, ang gagamitin natin ay malawak. That's the largest. So, ang gagamitin dyan ay in. In Las Piñas City. Next, C5 Road. Black C5 Road. Ano ginagamit natin for the road? And road is horizontal. Okay? Surfaces. Road. So, what should we use? Okay. We should use on. On C5 Road. Next, Blank 55 Pag-asa Street. Blank 55 Pag-asa Street. Street is horizontal. Diba? Pero, naging specific tayo. Doon mismo sa 55 Pag-asa Street. Meron tayong exact location. So, ang gagamitin natin ay at. At 55 Pag-asa Street. Next, number four. Taiwan. Taiwan is a country. Malawak. Large space. Country. So, what are we going to use? We have to use in. In Taiwan. Number five. We had our dinner blank Max's restaurant. So, we have here a specific name of a place. Max's restaurant. Nandun mismo kami naghapunan sa Max's restaurant. What are we going to use here? Okay, so ang gagamitin dito ay at. We had our dinner at Max's restaurant. Okay, specific location. And last for number 6, may dalawa tayo rito. They study blank UP blank Quezon City. Anong gagamitin? So UP is a specific location. A specific name of an institution, educational institution or university. Ang gagamitin dyan ay they study at UP or University of the Philippines blank Quezon City. So, Quezon City is a city. So, anong gagamitin natin sa mga city? Just like in Las Piñas, we're going to use in. In Quezon City. So, it will be they study at UP in Quezon City. Ilan ang nakuha ninyong tamang sagot? I-share ninyo sa ating comment section sa iba ba. Again, these are the most basic uses of these three prepositions of places. At nais ko na lagi ninyong i-visualize sa isipan ninyo itong ating inverted pyramid. Yung may pinakamalawak na sakop ng lugar is for in. Yung medium, yung sakop na spaces or area ng lugar, ginagamit ay on. And for the most specific places, ang ginagamit ay at. At para mas mahasa pa kayo, maaari kayong patuloy na magbasa ng mga grammar books or even on the internet. Maaari din kayong mag-research pa. And that's the end of our video lesson for today. Kung marami kayong natutunan, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to share it with your friends para matutunan din nila. At kung hindi pa kayo nagiging bahagi ng ating YouTube online community of learners, iniimbitahan ko kayo na maging bahagi nito. Simple lamang ang gagawin. You just have to click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa mga darating pa nating video lessons. And also, iniimbitahan ko rin kayo na mag-subscribe sa aking second channel together with my family in which we do different vlogs together with them 
Yes, the name of my channel is Aubrey and Family Lifestyle TV. Sana ay maging bahagi rin kayo ng channel ko na ito. It's shoutout time! Batiin natin yung mga nagpapashoutout. Unahin na natin i-shoutout si Rustom Padilla Prado. Hello! Shoutout sa'yo, Rustom Padilla Prado. Nag-message siya sa aking IG. Ayan, sabi niya, salamat, Mom Idol. Apakahusay mo talagang magturo. Maraming salamat. Ayan ha, shoutout na kita, Rustom Padilla Prado. I shout out natin si Stephanie Salcedo. Hello, Mom Steffi. Uh, isang mabuting kaibigan at co-teacher ko rin dito sa division na namin, dito sa lugar namin. Hi, Ma'am! Pa-shoutout po. Ayan, shoutout sa'yo, Ma'am Stephanie Salcedo. Next naman, shoutout natin si Vinmar. Hello, Vinmar. Sabi niya, hello po, Ma'am. Shoutout po. Ayan, lagi itong nagko-comment sa lahat ng videos. Kaya, maraming salamat. Mag-iingat ka lagi, Vinmar. Next, i-shoutout natin si... Ligaya RG. Hello, Ligaya RG. Sabi niya, thank you po sa mga videos. Pa-shoutout po, Teacher Aubrey. Watching from Occidental Mindoro. Ayan. Shoutout po sa lahat ng mga taga-Occidental Mindoro. Taga-Mindoro din po ang papa ko. Pasan tayo sa Mindoro? Pa? Sa ano? Sa ano? Pinamalayan. Sa Pinamalayan. Occidental Oriental? Oriental. Oriental. Ayan. Taga dyan po ang papa ko. Kaya mag-iingat po kayong lahat dyan sa mga kababayan nating mga taga-Mindoro. Lalo ka na, Miss Ligaya RG. Thank you po. Next, i-shoutout natin si Lilios Lapayag. Hello, Miss Lilios Lapayag. Sabi niya, pa-shoutout, Miss Aubrey. Dito ako sa Abu Dhabi. Ayan, mag-iingat po kayong lagi dyan sa Abu Dhabi. Thank you po, Miss Lilios Lapayag. Next naman, i-shoutout natin si Maha Nami. Hello, Maha Nami. Sabi niya, thank you, ma. May natutunan ako. Pa-shoutout po. Ayan, shoutout sa'yo, Maha Nami. And lastly, shoutout natin si Vicky De Los Reyes. Hello, Vicky De Los Reyes. Sabi niya, pa-shoutout po, ma'am. I am new subscriber of your channel. Always keep it up. Ayan, thank you so much po, Miss Vicky De Los Reyes. And again, patuloy po ako nagpapasalamat sa lahat ng ating mga subscribers and eager learners dito po sa YouTube na talaga na mga sumusubaybay sa ating pong mga video lessons. Wala po akong ibang hangal kundi ang patuloy na makapaghatid sa inyo ng mga kaalaman pagdating po sa English subject, English lesson, communication man, speaking or writing na magagamit po ninyo in real life. And lastly, I will never get tired of reminding you na ano man po ang inyong narating sa buhay, ano man po ang inyong estado o edad, basta po mayroon kayong mga pangarap, wala pong imposible, basta lagi lamang pong pagsisikapan at pagsasanayan. Until my next video lesson, bye for now!